Time now for Worldview with Matt Rivers. Starting in Haiti, the UN now estimates gangs are in control of around 80% of the Haitian capital, Port-au-Prince. Fed up citizens have started forming self-defense groups as vigilantism is becoming more and more common. And, and Matt, I understand a Haitian law enforcement source told you they think the real number is closer to 100%. Why is this happening? Yeah, that's exactly right, Diane. I mean, Haiti, unfortunately, no stranger to a series of tragedies over the last few years. But what we're seeing right now in the capital city of Port-au-Prince is something that is truly unprecedented. You mentioned the United Nations saying that 80 percent of Port-au-Prince controlled by gangs. That source telling me it's really closer to 100 percent. And you mentioned vigilantism, uh, Diane. It was earlier this week that 13 suspected gang members, according to my law enforcement source, uh, were pulled into the street beaten, stoned, doused with gasoline, and set on fire. It's a fed-up citizenry after years of gang control in Port-au-Prince. And just bear with me, I want to give you some statistics that I think paint a broader picture of what's happening in Haiti right now. At least 807 people were killed or lynched in the first quarter of uh, 2023. That's 107% greater than the fourth quarter of 2022. 627 people kidnapped. That number is up. There's roughly 140,000 internally displaced persons in the country right now. That's more than double the number from two years ago. And schools now being routinely targeted with looting, shooting. Uh, it's a really horrible situation in Haiti right now. Meanwhile, transitioning to another island with some issues in the Caribbean, Cuba, where there is a oil shortage at this point uh, that's impacting everything from people's ability to drive, even canceling a concert scheduled to be held by the National Symphony Orchestra there. It's not a shortage of crude oil, but rather Cuba not being able to refine Fine, the crude oil that it has. You have to wonder if that's going to impact migration. We've already seen record levels of migration from Cuba to the U.S. in recent months and years. And Diane, as you know, we like to finish the worldview generally with something a little bit lighter. We can shout out our, our editor, Joe, in London for flagging this story for us. There's a uh, resort in the UK that has posted this job posting recently. They're trying to get rid of the seagulls that are flocking around that resort. And so they've come up with this idea to get a team of people to wear eagle costumes, to then walk around the resort, interact with guests, and scare away the birds. Diane, I think if you talk to a lot of people close to me in my life, they would tell you that they're pretty shocked I've managed to last this long in broadcasting. So at least I know I've got some other options. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think you'd look good in the eagle suit, Matt. I don't know. It you know might I could suit do you. it, right? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the backup plan. Hey, I went to Boston College, and that's our mascot, too. So a lot of eagle <laughs> pride over here. Matt Rivers, <laughs> I think it would look good on you, but I think you're fine just where you are. We appreciate it, Matt. Thank we'll, you. We'll stick in this job for now. <laughs> <laughs> for now. Thanks, Matt. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.